Okay, so let's just go down the list really quick. Um, music, uh, overall. I loved it. It was really cool. It was really epic. It was a, a big, big piece. It had a real broad scope. It, uh, it felt like it was telling a lot of a story, uh, and it was quite an adventurous story. There was, you know, the uh, going into the conga kind of rhythms in the, in the middle of the part. There's sort of, a, sort of a dreamy part where it's kind of, a, you know, like almost like a, a hazy uh, kind of a crazier part. Things were sort of unhinged, and then you've got some nice guitar work. There's a couple of guitars playing together. Which was really nice. They're playing some nice, uh, cool. Uh, I guess you could say jazz chords. The singer's voice was—he was singing in Italian. I didn't know what he was saying. I'll have a look at the lyrics later and maybe translate them. But um, yeah, I'm curious what he's going to say. What he's singing about? Uh, his voice is fine. I wouldn't say it was like a super distinct kind of voice, like John Anderson or something, or or Greg Lake or whatever. It was more of a, a more of an average kind of a voice. Let's talk about um, the bass player, which he was quite a delight to listen to. It sounds like he's playing pick style, kind of like Chris Squire. His playing was sort of more melodic and upfront in a lot of parts. He was playing an important role in sort of the lead melody, not just the bass low notes and things. The drummer, as I said, I really liked quality of, of how it was mic'd and everything sounded great. All the percussion sounded really good. Yeah, he sound, he reminded me a little of Bruford at the beginning, but then he just kind of became his own thing. Maybe a little of Carl Palmer too, like ELP, I thought overall there was... If that was if that song was going to remind me of any band, probably ELP the most, because of the, the piano, maybe? I'm not sure. Or the composing, I'm not sure why I feel that way. Of course, the piano playing was really lovely. It sounded great. Um, there was a pairing up of the bass and the and the keyboard, which is the part I want to figure out in a minute. Yeah, it's nice that there were a lot of like a xylophone kind of going on there at some point. There, you can hear the xylophone. It was really cool how the song uh, picked up finally at about almost three three minute mark. It had a very long introduction without drums and everything else. It was kind of leading you in, and uh, it was really a pleasant introduction. I enjoyed it a lot. And then when the band really hit, it sounded different than I was anticipating. It sounded very original, which is always, I give extra points always when I can be surprised. When I listen to a song and I can be surprised. <laughs> because there's like a billion songs to listen to in the universe, right? Okay, there we go. That's so cool. <laughs> is a really cool little riff. And then there's all this nice guitar stuff, which reminded me so much of Andy Summers of The Police, who had a solo album with a, another great guitar player. It had a Brazil flavor to it, so the Latin Brazil. And actually this did too. This was a bit Brazilian. Uh, let me know, Italians who are watching this video, am I right, am I wrong? It's a sort of a Brazilian feel here. There's the chord. So really enjoyed that song. Thanks for uh, recommending it. Let's have a quick look at the lyrics. These days it is certainly autumn down here, my sweet Marta Marta. Oh, okay, a bit of a love. Oh yeah, I remember hearing Dulce. Is that love kind of affection? It's, anyways, I remember the hay and your Normandy horses. Uh, we were free, free. Pictures dripping with moisture on the wall, stains without freedom. Listen to Marta in this strange autumn. Your horses scream, scream, changed now. What to say, choke, closed, here, why? Prisoner for the idea, my idea, why? Far is the path I have chosen for myself. Interesting, so he's uh, sort of a revolutionary or something. Uh, some of the ideals that he's getting uh, punished for. Where everything is worthy of attention because it lives, because it is true, it lives the truth. It lives the truth. At least you who can escape via nomadic song. This cell is filled with my despair. Wow, he's in a jail perhaps. Uh, you who cannot get caught, you condemn for convenience. But my idea is already assaulting you. You torture my flesh alone. 
but my brain still lives on. The name of the song says Politico. So interesting. So a very adventurous song, and I enjoyed that a lot. Thanks for recommending it, Pierre. And uh, we'll talk to you all later. Make sure you leave a comment below what other Italian progressive rock I should check out, or any other specifically it's international flavored progressive rock. It doesn't have to be singing English. In fact, it's uh, kind of refreshing to not hear English. Spiraling out. Talk to you all later. Bye. <laughs>